Hi y'all, welcome or welcome back to Feel and Froggy Knits. My name is Maya and today we are going to be styling my knits for spring. You know y'all, what good is a knitted object if it just sits in a dresser or up in our closet? Ain't no good. So I thought today I would showcase my knitted pieces that I have made over the past past year and a half about. And I wanted to style them with spring in mind. Spring is such uh, an interesting transitional season, just like fall, not quite cold enough for that winter jacket or wool sweater, not quite hot enough for that bikini or that uh, silk tank top, which means that we can take these pieces that you might see as a winter or a summer piece and kind of mix it up mix the cool with the warm so it, it is just this perfect in between especially for people like you and me who work with fiber and that means we get to pick like the warmth of our garments i could i could have made this out of Whoa. All right, y'all, so I have seven different outfits featuring seven different pieces of knitwear that I have created. Some of them are a little bit more unconventional, I would say, in their use of wear, but I wanted to use this space as a place to inspire you because holy fuck, it's still cold. I was joking with my boyfriend about it the other night because we lived in Monterey, California for two years. And in Monterey, it never gets above like 65, which I know you who live wherever and it gets 100 degrees during the summer, you think, well, that sounds like just a little slice of heaven. Well, I'll tell you what, it is for some people, but I think Drew and I are are little lizards actually. So we need the hot and we need the sun. Thankfully now where we live, it will actually get hot. But some of these pieces I haven't really been able to wear, including this, my camisole number four by My Favorite Things Knitwear, knitted in Knitting for Olives Pure Silk. I forgot what colorway. I wanted to say because of the colder weather that I experienced in Monterey, I feel like I have kind of a, um, I have some experience with the uh, seasonal changes because I spent two summers searching for warmth <laughs> in Monterey and I only found it with my knits. So I'll stop bashing Monterey. It's a lovely town. They have a great yarn store there. Monarch knitting, it's amazing. So these pieces, some of them will look like they're more for winter and some look like they're more for summer, but hopefully I've combined everything together enough so that it gives you the same kind of like vision that I had. Okay, the first outfit we are going to talk about, I am going to call my library fit. This is an outfit that I feel like I would just throw on to go return a book or go to my local knitting group that's at my closest library. I have always loved the shorts and long sleeve shirt combination, whether that be shorts and sweatshirts, that kind of thing. So I kind of was playing off of that with this outfit. For some reason, I'm reading a book, funny enough about Canary Row, which is very much about Monterey. So. <laughs> This outfit features the I'm So Basic socks by Summer Lee, which I made a video about if you'd like to check it out. But I did it in this dream in color cashmere yarn. So it's cashmere and wool. And then the heel toe cuff is a wool silk blend. So these are just like so cozy, soft socks. Very perfect for those like spring mornings where it's still cold outside, but you know it's gonna be 70 degrees at five o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think socks and sandals are really perfect because it warms up your feet, but you can always take them off. And I wanted to, you know, do a little matchy-matchy with the green socks and my Patagonia baggy shorts. I will be listing everything that I'm wearing down in the description box below, knitted and otherwise, just in case y'all like what I am wearing. I'm obviously not sponsored, but I am not a gatekeeper. So if there's something that you like of mine that I didn't mention, please let me know because we're, we are all just trying to get through the day. Okay, so this next outfit is 
going to be the brunch fit and it's featuring my showdown sweater which is a pattern and kit by Wool and the Gang. It was the first sweater that I ever made. The yarn that I used is called Feel and Good Yarn and it's a mostly alpaca blend. So it's a very soft sweater and it's got kind of like, it doesn't have a super loose gauge, but I think my gauge was kind of loose. So it's a little bit, let's just say if a gust of wind comes by, let's hope that that's not the only layer that you have on because it's it can be pretty cool um, if the wind blows which I thought might make it a perfect contender for a springtime sweater. So I put it over this, it's just this dress that I got at Target. Oh, here's the little girl. Do you hate me? My friend Ariana in college first introduced me to the sweater over the dress look. If you know me, you know I love looking like a blob, like a a box maybe. I just love being shapeless and a sweater dress combo gives me that. But a little trick is that you can actually take a belt and just like cinch it as tight as you can around your waist and tuck your sweater into it. And then if it has enough like room or whatever, then you can tuck it or you can bring it out a little bit. And then it gives this look of like a, of a waist. If, if you prefer to have a waist when you're out walking about then a little belt might help but like i said love the little shapeless look and just the pattern clashing too with the stripes and floral i think is something that i've actually like never done it is something that i have always been like too afraid to try just because i don't i've never had like pieces that work together in that way and I think that these really do. That is it, the little brunch outfit. Put it on, you know, go get your mimosa, maybe, you know, maybe Irish coffee, maybe it's a little cold still, so you get that warm. Mmm. Okay, next, the next fit, I'm going to call it Picnic at the Park. This outfit is featuring uh, Camisole number no. two by My Favorite Things Knitwear. It's knitted in the Knitting for Olive pure silk in the colorway dusty artichoke i'm wearing this over it's actually this t-shirt but it's an everlane t-shirt and then the pants i got at costco but they were like a, a linen kind of pant and i know that this is in style or in fashion so i was like sure cute but i paired them together really love that tank top i like i said i actually haven't been able to wear that one it was just too cold in monterey but i thought you know the pants would be good for a picnic because you want to sit like cross-legged and sit you want to be able to sit however you want not have a skirt or a dress encumber you in in any way or shorts even sometimes you know have some breathable linen pants and if it gets too hot you can always take the t-shirt off underneath and just wear the tank top oh yeah and the shoes I'm just wearing these, they're Sorel, they're slides. Again, everything will be linked down below, but I thought this was another cute little casual outfit. Most of my outfits are very casual because I'm just a casual girly. Just might as well call me Johnny Casual. Terrible joke. Next, the next outfit, we're getting a little cute, a little spicy. The next outfit features my Valentine's Day vest, the Iris vest by My Charming Wool. This outfit I would call orchestra in the park, maybe. This is my like fancy outfit. And I wanted to show that you can wear a wool vest like that or a wool slipover in more of the springtime way so i've got it's just a target skirt on and then a target t-shirt the iris vest and then my sorrel sandals with a coach purse i just think the vest speaks for itself in this outfit it's the main act of the outfit and i think colorful pieces like that do really well at just shining when you have kind of a basic outfit on because otherwise i'd be wearing a black t-shirt and a black skirt with black slides and a black purse. I think that not only does this vest need to be a part of the outfit, I think it just really enhances it. Plus, vests are great because you can take them off. So if you do get too hot, you still have your t-shirt underneath uh, and you can look plain for a little bit, that's okay. The next outfit is also featuring a vest. It's the typical slipover, I believe, in a juniper moon. I think that's the, I can't remember, but I made a video about it, I'll link it, you know. This next outfit we're gonna 
gonna call Matcha in the Afternoon. And it is featuring my typical slipover by Tiffany of Typical Bliss with some, I used Juniper Moon yarn in it. I just think this would be the perfect throw on kind of fit. Again, with the white t-shirt and blue jeans, you really can't go wrong. You can put whatever you want on over it. I could even wear, you know, my, uh, my iris vest, my pink and red one with this outfit and it would still work really well. And again, with a vest, it's, not as like cumbersome as a sweater and you can take it off. It It is something that is on over your outfit. I just make sure that you can, you know, show whatever is underneath. Maybe wear a t-shirt under like I did. Another casual look to go maybe to uh, your local coffee shop, get yourself a matcha, maybe a little latte, I don't know. Bring your knitting. That's literally what I did today. The next fit I would say is more of like a spring into summer kind of look and it's actually featuring this shirt that I'm wearing right now, which is Camisole Number no. 4 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. This is knit in Knitting for Olive. I forgot what color this is, but it's one of their grays. This outfit is a beach fit. You've got the cutoff shorts. I've got a bathing suit on underneath. And then this on top with my Sorel sandals. This tank top uses a broken rib stitch, which makes the fabric a little bit more see-through. Now that also has to do with gauge and, and all of that. So, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, but with my camisole number four, it's a little bit see-through. I don't mind wearing just a bra underneath this. I said that I like to be, look like a box. I don't care about modesty. Like I usually dress modestly, but if something like falls out, like that's life and I'm a person, I would probably wear this as a, just as a cover up. But you know, if I'm feeling fun, feeling a little frisky, maybe I'll wear you know, a little fun bra underneath, show it off. Like that's what these kind of tank tops are for, are for buying those like really cute bras so that you can show them off. Anyways, perfect tank top for the beach. Silk is just such a wonderful yarn and fabric to make. I started on one silk project and I'm gonna start on, start on another because summer is coming y'all and you don't wanna be at the pool knitting a, knitting a dang sweater, you know? Okay, and we have made it to the last outfit. Uh, I'm calling this one going to the gym. <laughs> Not very original. This outfit features my Cumulus tee, which is a pattern by Petite Knit, and I used uh, cotton by Pearl Soho to make it. This pattern, I'm pretty sure that I made this before the Cumulus blouse came out. What I wanted was a V-neck cotton sweater. The Cumulus tee was the closest thing I could find to what I wanted. So what I did is increase the length of the sleeves and that is the only thing that I changed about this pattern. I really love the look of a kind of like a deep V-neck with a high neck bra or tank top underneath, which is what I'm showing here. So I've got a girlfriend collective bra and then girlfriend collective shorts on with my girlfriend collective socks and hokas for my shoes and then the cumulus, cumulus tee on top. So it's just a nice like that for me is a wonderful like throw over sweater for the summertime because I did use a cotton yarn. It is just the perfect like not too hot, not too cold kind of Goldilocks sweater. We're all looking for that Goldilocks sweater. So those are the outfits, seven in total. I decided I wanted to just do one outfit per knitted piece, just because I wanted to, I don't know, give each one their time to shine. I really enjoyed making this. I'm not a fashionista. My fifth grade self, my, freaking kick me for saying that because when I tell you I used to watch the Style Network with my Nana and we used to watch Say Yes to the Dress and oh, there was one where they did like a make, I forget, what was the makeover one called? With Nisi, no that was Clean House with Nisi Nash. <laughs> Clean House was Nisi Nash, what? Style something? I can't remember. And I used to play those like 
games where you would paint the nails and stuff, like I was in it. Maybe fifth grade me would be proud of myself for showing you all my fashionista side. Yeah, hopefully this kind of got you thinking about items that are in your own closet, handmade or otherwise. Today really got me excited for springtime and for warmer weather. I know I was already, but oh my gosh, it cannot get here soon enough. I am ready to sweat. I'm ready to be a sweaty little pig. Well, <laughs> If you all liked this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you would like to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. I'm putting new videos out every single week. Let me know what you thought about the outfits in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinions and ideas. Maybe like, you know, oh Maya, what if you wore this t-shirt with that outfit instead? Like, I would love that. Alrighty, well, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants. <laughs>